Greetings guys and gals, my name is Fad and welcome back to our Dragon Age Origins melee only playthrough. We are still in the dead trenches, everything is covered in fleshy sacks of darkspawn... something? <laughs> and we are about to face probably the boss of the dead trenches, the dwarf eating, blood sucking, giant grey infested uh, thingy <laughs> that we have been told about so much and I'm very excited but also a little bit um, uh, curious about yeah what is it that we are facing exactly right so what is that? Dead case insignia. A dwarven coat of arms with old ancestral ties. A new field suggests that it's Barra intended. <gasps> I know what this is. We need that for the yeah for the dead case thingy. Okay, fleshy sacks. We are coming very close to whatever gross thing is waiting for us. <laughs> okay. Brood mother. <gasps> oh, that's what she's called, the brood mother. Got it. Okay, so last part we basically figured out, before I start, um, you know, before yeah, I, I, I go facing that thing, and I need to tell you what we are facing. So basically, the dwarves are fed uh, darkspawn flesh and blood, and dwarven flesh and blood, I don't know in which order exactly, but, and then uh, they give birth to even more darkspawn, so, yeah, I guess the name Brood Mother is kind of, where is it, where is, it? oh my god. <laughs> Tension building. Ugh. Ah, damn, I need a helm for Ogren. Yeah, I would be very careful. <coughs> oh, okay, that is positively disgusting. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Okay, there she is. The brood mother. And her tentacle children that is that is disgusting okay so she gives birth to darkspawn okay so what do we have here mm -hmm, an area boss fight area can't get out cannot flee so we have to face that thing now should I attack the tentacles first probably right so everyone grab a tentacle and cut it off that monstrously uh, octopus thingy <laughs> everyone Okay, yeah, so I think we need to kill the tentacles first, but I'm not... Okay, tentacles going down. Now attack the Broodmother directly. Okay. I think we need to kill all the tentacles first. Okay, everyone take a health portus. Oh, damn, I should have taken some injury kits beforehand, huh? Well, whatever. Liliana, you're going to need a less injury kit as well. Uh, less health portus as well. Okay, yeah. So please kill it as fast as possible. <laughs> oh, and she just vomits all over me. Oh, that is so gross. Oh my god. Yuck. I would not <laughs> like to trade places with you, Liliana. But she holds a tight grip to those swords. Why don't you just take the swords and <clears throat> jam it into her face? Probably because she's so gross. Ugh. Maker's breath? This is not the maker's breath. This is the breath of the brood my did it. Okay, her vomit is positively very dangerous. I think these tentacles are... Wait, they, they, they definitely re respawn, right? We have to face more tentacles later on. Right, so... Uh, lesser one... Jens needs a normal one. No, that's Liliana, she's dead. In the last part I said I'm going to take better care of Liliana, man. Take the health portus, Jens! No, Jens, my boy! Take your health portus, what are you doing? I specifically instructed you to take a health portus. Ogren, you should take a lesser one again as well. And Molina, you should just okay. hack this thing to pieces, man. <laughs> Ooh, that was very close for Jens. Damn, she's just keeping me away from it, but I can't do anything. Yeah, I must attack her. I must face her head on. Okay, uh, Jens, you take a lesser health portus, please. It's, it's kind of bothers me that Liana's dead. Because she does, she actually does quite a lot of damage. So, and she's the only one that I ca that I have to coat my weapons. So we could only increase our damage by coating our weapons in something and only Liliana can do that, right? So, kind of bad that she's dead. 
All right, so sh there are more tentacles, and there's Darkspawn protecting the Broodmother. Yeah, of course. It's it's very weird that she isn't protected in the first place, but that thing was once a dwarf. Jesus. Okay. Um. What now? Attack the tentacles, right? Okay, so there's only one tentacle. No, the other ones have just no hitbox yet, right? All right, gents, you kill the the Herlox. Okay. I remember that battle being pretty difficult in my first playthrough, actually. <laughs> I couldn't exactly remember what it was that I needed to face here, but now I remember. The memory is coming back. <laughs> I mean, look at that. No wonder I repressed that from my memory. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ogren, you can attack. Oh, you're already attacking the tentacle. All right. All right. So I bet once more they will spawn, probably, right? Okay. What is your command? My command is kill the tentacles. Kill the tentacles. Hey, you can actually damage uh, while the tentacles are still out there. That's crazy. I would have thought you sh should have to kill the tentacles. But I bet she does more damage with them or something like that. So. It's definitely advantageous to kill the tentacles first. Okay. You know, it actually seems like she's in a lot of pain. I'm not going to lie. Actually... Mm. She's not to be envied, that's for damn sure. It's kind of sad, really, when you think about it. <laughs> I mean, basically, does she even have, like, conscious anymore? I don't know. Or is she only spitting and vomiting and giving birth to evil creatures? Her fate is not to be envied. I said her face is not to be envied, Ogren. Kill her. Or it. I think. I think even cons even t even you know calling her her is at this point. I think it's more like an it, right? Kill the again, Loxman boy. Okay. Always need to keep those uh, health bars in check. Oh wait. Shriek, damn. <laughs> Melina just doesn't give a fuck. Just attacks the brute mother. Okay, always need to keep those health bars in check. I don't want to lose another of my guys. Uh, gents? Or my dog, for that matter. So you can, you can actually ignore the shrieks and just <laughs> attack the brute mother, right? But we're not going to do that, of course. Ah, the shriek disappeared. Oh, damn. Health powders. She does produce that kind of gas. How can I avoid that? Getting a lot of damage in here. Oh, damn. No, Melina, please don't die. Okay. Phew. Very difficult. Yeah, I think the last part of the battle, that was the most difficult part. Even with magic, um, I think I also think she has quite she had quite the resistance to magic, but I'm not entirely sure about that. So don't quote me on that. <laughs> Kill the freaking tentacle! I think it's the tentacles produce the gas, right? No, that doesn't make any sense. But the tentacles definitely does do increase her damage. Ogren, take a lesser health poultice, just to be sure. I'm pretty sure this battle is won at this part, but whatever. Let me just look at that health bar going down. Kill her! Or it. Vomit. Why is vomit even in the ta- and down she goes. Ugh. Giant festering gray blob. That's where they come from. Well, That's okay. why they hate us. That's why they need us. That's why they take us. That's why they feed us. But the true abomination is not that it occurred, but that it was allowed. Branca, my love. The stone has punished me, dream friend. I am dying of something worse than death. Betrayal. What? What the fuck? What did the mu Wait, what did Branca allow? 
Branka allowed that to happen? No. What? I don't understand. Whoa! She had a lot of stuff though. <laughs> Effort? What is that? Massive armor, 15% to healing, okay. Okay. A helmet for Ogren. That's kinda nice. Uh, 3.15. No, we're giving him the Juggernaut helmet, right? Yeah, because now he has a full set of armor. Oof. Dark. Okay, that. That it was allowed. Why does the tentacle still have. I don't know what that's about. That it was allowed. That it was allowed. Hmm. <laughs> Weird. I have to ask Bronca if I ever find her. There's a very that's that's the darkest story of uh, the darkest well the darkest half story well the, the darkest part of the of the game I think Jesus okay so so that's how they so that's how the dark spawn reproduces they get dwarves. And then made them into whatever that was. <sighs> yeah, venture forth. Anvil of the Void. The an ancient smithy of Caradon. The dwarven paragon renowned for creating the lost art of making golems. Our goal. Okay. Now, will Branca actually be here? That's if the Branca is anywhere, this has to be it. She will not be unprepared. Thank you, Ogren. Ogren just completely ignores what was <laughs> that his race was basically completely exploited by Darkspawn. <laughs> he just doesn't. Is that who I think it is? Is it the one? What was yeah. that? Oh no. Let me be blunt with you. After all this time, my tolerance for social graces is fairly limited. That doesn't bother cool you, boys. I hope. Shave my back and call me an elf. Bronca, by the stone, I barely recognized you. Ogren, it figures you'd eventually find your way here. Hopefully you can find your way back more easily. <laughs> and how shall I address you? Hired sword of the latest lordling to come looking for me? Yeah, kind of. the only one who didn't mind Ogren's ale breath. Also, be respectful, woman. You're talking to a Grey Warden. Ah, so an important errand boy, then. <laughs> I suppose something serious has happened. Is Enrin dead? That seems most likely. He was on the old and wheezy side. Sure, she's definitely... So, I, what, is, what is up with the broodmother and you let it happen thing? I don't... Ozama needs a new king to defense against the blight. He is dead, yes, and the assembly is deadlocked. How do you know I'm not just helping Ogren? Ogren. Yeah. Because nobody helps Ogren. <laughs> At best, Ogren's need to find me happened to coincide with the needs of someone more important. Ah, you are impossible! This Grey Warden's come all the Aww. way from the surface to they ask like your other. help picking Endrin's successor! I don't care if the Assembly puts a drunken monkey on the throne. Because our protector, our great invention, the thing that once made our armies the envy of the world, is lost to the very dark spawn it should be fighting. I kind of like The anvil that. of the void. The means by which the ancients forged their army of golems and held off the first archdemon ever to rise. It's here. So close I can taste it. You know, she's very straightforward. Badass woman. But of course there is a catch. Sounds like you could use it, but of course there's a catch. The anvil lies on the other side of a gauntlet of traps designed by Caradin himself. My people and I have given body and soul to unlocking its secrets. This is what's important. This has lasting meaning. If I succeed, the dwarven people benefit. Kings, politics, all that is transitory. I've given up everything and would sacrifice anything to get the anvil of the void. So she... Does that include Hespith and the others of your house? So yeah, that's what happened. You're obsessed, that must be my... Yeah. Enough questions. If you wish me to get involved with this imbecilic election, I must first have the anvil. There's only one way out, Warden. 
forward. She is to obsessed with maze it. and out to where the anvil waits. What has this place done to you? I remember marrying a girl you could talk to for one minute. Aww. See her brilliance. I am your paragon. Okay, so I like her, but she seems kind of obsessed. Is, is the right word, right? So. Oof. Okay. Okay. Warm. That's a very dark side story. <laughs> I have to say so they were married. That's cute But she also has a, had a secret lover right Hespeth was her, her lover not only her captain, but also her lover so Don't know what's that for that's about dwarven corpse It seems like she took some of the dwarves with her though What? There's no way to break through except by trial and error. I sent them They were all mine Pledged to be my house, and they didn't want to help. They tried to leave me, even my Hespeth. But even she couldn't understand that when you reach for greatness, there are sacrifices, as many sacrifices as are needed. What do you mean she left you, man? She got deadly. Have you seen her? Like, well, it's a wonder that she's not dead yet, man. Come on. What do you mean she left you? What the frick? What the fuck are you talking about, woman? Hmm. A lot of dark spawn. Is there an emissary? No, but an alpha. Let's retreat for now. I mean, I kinda like you, Bronca, but also I kinda don't like you. Who? Okay, so maybe, just maybe, as far as I'm putting it together right now, um, Branka, act wait, wait, I have to, <laughs> let's finish a few darkspawn guys first here, and then I'm going to elaborate. Just, why are you just, why are you just standing there, man, at least help me. You're a paragon, right? The gr one of the greatest warriors of the dwarf, and yet you're just standing there doing freaking nothing. Bitch. She shouldn't have gone. She was pledged. She swore she'd do whatever it took to find the anvil. There was no other choice. Most of them were dying of the taint already. But some, some of the women were transforming. I knew what they would become. There would be... Endless supply, fresh dark spawn to test the traps. They could still see oh my Let god, me find the anvil. It was the only way. Oh my god, that's why you did that. That is the lady. I do not update, I do not longer like Branca. What the fuck? You use them, you knew what would happen to them, and you still let it happen and use them to test the freaking traps for the what the fuck. So I had a different theory. My theory was actually that she that she like offered the dwarves as sacrifices, so that the darkspawn will let her through, right? But that's not it. That's somehow even worse. That is even worse, lady. You are terrible. You are a terrible lady. You know that? Freaking Branca. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So she was actually actively <laughs> breeding darkspawn. Oh my god, this emissary was way too strong. Luckily those are not so. Big swings. Big boy swings. Okay. No, you don't. So she actively bred Darkspawn. No idea how they carried on, holding my hand and begging to die. They had pledged me their loyalty, 
They have no right to fight me. They say your order is renowned for its wits as well as its brawn. Perhaps you'll do better than my poor clansmen. There's something about this place. It makes people despair. Oh really? Maybe it's it's the fleshy sex on every single corner. And the people turning into darkspawn. And the giant freaking grey blubbering mess of woman everywhere. <laughs> what? Yeah, what could it be about that place that makes people despair? Mm, I don't know. Freaking Branca, man. Go up there and kick your ass now. If I could. Wait, can I? No, I can't. I can't get up there. Yeah. Got it. That's terrible. I'll get on it. You know, if I get the choice to fight Branca, first of all, I think I will. And second of all, I think that I won't take Ogren for that. Or should I take Ogren for that? I don't know. On one hand, I don't. I want to spare him the sight of his wife getting killed. On the other hand, I feel like if there is someone who should kill her, it should be Ogren himself. Watch out. Right? There's dark spawn over there. Yeah, and an Ogre. So they come in waves now, right? Is that what's what's happening? I feel like that's mm -hmm. what is happening. Okay, that one is dead. Indeed we have, Liliana. Indeed we have. Now lure them, lure them, lure them here. I see them. Dark Can I save? No, no, that's a... Yeah, because we're still in battle, right? Yeah, okay. I wanted to make a cut here, but I can't, so... Ugh, all of them are freaking... Kill the... No, you know what? Kill the Genlocks. And unless the Ogre attacks, and the Ogre attacks. <laughs> of course he does attack. Kill the Ogre. Is the yellow Ogre or normal one? Oh, it's yellow one. Okay. Oh no, he's using ram! Oof. Hey, I resist that. How I resist? <laughs> How do you resist that? <laughs> Whoa. Okay. At least it must make Branka proud to see her husband doing something like that. No, an arrow. I don't get why he's stabbing with his axe, whatever. To chop his freaking head off, man. I was so afraid that the game wasn't going to explain what has been meant. Okay. There we go. You saying something? You wanna tell me something? No? Okay then. Oh, I can save now. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Okay, so wow, many new things came to light in this part. And again, I think if I get the choice to <sighs> to fight Branka, I don't know if Ogren should be should be a part of that. Write in the comments down below what you think. Anyway, I'm making a little cut here, and in the next part we are definitely going to find the Anvil of the Void and um, probably take revenge on Branka. I'm not sure about that yet, but maybe it's a little morally gray area. Anyway, before more more Darkspawn arrive, uh, yeah, hope you will hope I will see you in the next part. And until then, have a nice day, have a nice night, and of course, as always, have a nice time.